Praise God. I want to bless the Lord for all our mothers, uh, all women, all ladies. You are important. Just like you saw that video clip. I don't think anybody wants to do that kind of a job. Uh, it's a 365 days uh, job. There is no holidays. And during normal holidays, your job increases. There's no guarantee or you're going to sleep all through the night. And you have to have a degree in interpersonal skills. <laughs> You have to be able to relate with people. You have to be able to negotiate. 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 You have to be You can have me time. You have to have You have to be able to you clean people's bash. <laughs> Man. Can we thank God for mothers? Can we thank God for mothers? Many times the father will say, Go meet your mother. Especially when they have bashed. <laughs> oh Amen. Lord, forgive us, men. It's not easy to be a woman. We know that. And so, one day is not enough to celebrate motherhood. I think every day. That's why I, thought, I don't understand why some men treat their wives badly. It doesn't make sense to me. No. Because that woman... And that's why also it's interesting for me when some people are against women leading things. She led you till you can talk. She led you till you got your education. Now suddenly you know better than her. Now she's not allowed to talk in public. Wow. Every president was led by a woman. Every pastor was taught by a woman. Wow. We love mothers. That's why I am always on the side of ladies. <laughs> we will always protect our sisters. You know, when the Bible says the woman is a weaker vessel, it is not saying that they are weak in the sense of strength. He's, he's talking about they are fragile. Yeah, fragile, like this glass now. If you drop it, it's broken. But if there's a China cup, if you drop it, you pick it up. But this broken glass, this glass is more expensive than China cup. But if you drop it, it will break. That's a woman for you. A woman's heart breaks very fast. And it takes a long time to mend it back. Yeah. No matter the glue you put on it, the glue will just be... Whenever she sees what causes a break, the glue and the heart will break again. So God has a, God has a special place for, for women. One time in the seminary, we were discussing this issue. Why, why didn't Jesus use many more women in the ministry? And, and I heard me say this. I heard my say that. It is a burden and it is a work that is not meant for women at that time. It was foundation. It was cornerstone work. And the Bible says that the man is a cornerstone. The man is the head. Head does not mean head on top. Head means foundation stone. Foundation is not for women. The house should be ready before the women come in. Mm. I like that one. You don't go and marry a woman and then start to look for where you're going to live. You get a place first. And then you go bring the woman in. So why would Jesus put such load on a woman in the beginning? You think women were not there? 
Du tog en kvinna var där. Yeah. De var där. If I was a woman who saw him resurrect first. Det var yes, det var en kvinna som så han stå upp först. She should have been the one to receive the found the revelation of the church being built. Hon kunde ha fått uppenbarelsen om att menigheten skulle byggas. But it wasn't meant for you were not meant to carry load like that. Du var inte ment att bära på en slik bild. Ja. I personally don't think God intended for women to work hard. Jag tror inte att Gud hade till hänsikt att kvinnor skulle jobba hårt. I'm serious. This is my this is my uh, what I think. I think det God det jag from what I've seen no, I'm not sett. teaching a doctrine so don't get me wrong. Don't go home and say pastor nå. says women should not work. Jag kan gå hem och säga att pastor säger att kvinnor inte ska jobba. I'm just seeing that from scriptures I saw that man man was the one given the task to provide for his family. Jag ser bara det ut från bibeln att man blev fick uppgiften i att beskydda och försörja familjen. If she works, her money should not be for taking care of the family. Vi ser ju också ska inte hennes pengar vara för att ta vara på familjen. She has to choose to use her money for the family. Hon kan välja att bruka pengarna på familjen. It is our job men. Det är vår vår jobb som män. To take care of the family. Att ta vara på familjen. So if if you can't take care of family yet. Så ska jag kan ta vara på familjen ändå. Stay at home with mama. Så håll dig hemma med mamma. Marriage is not for boys. Äktenskap är inte för gutter. Marriage is for men. Äktenskap är för män. So let, uh, why am I saying this? Take care of that woman. Ta vara på den kvinnan. Eh, make her feel like a queen every day. Låt oss följa så som en dronning varje dag. Amen. And I mean, I'm serious. Take take care of her. Ta vara på henne. Do your best. Gör ditt bästa. And she will know you are doing your best. Och hon vet vill veta att du gör ditt bästa. My god, I can see chocolate coming to me from all ladies today. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Eh? Preach. Preach is going live so we are recording it. Send it to your husbands. Amen. Everybody here has a mother sometime. Allah har har haft eller har en mamma. And I remembered how Many nights. We growing up in Africa, in some part of the Af- where we live, there's sometimes light goes anytime. And when the light goes, the f- the what gives air will stop. And Mama will come to you and start blowing you so you can sleep. So she stays awake while you sleep. So hon håller sig vaken medan du sover. Wow. And then that child will now grow up one day and say oh, uh, uh, you now start speaking back opp, to your mother. Och börjar nu snacka dåligt om mamman sin. I'm going to show you from scriptures. There are four reasons why God says they should stone people to death in der, the Bible. Der, four places. Där Bibeln säger att man ska döda eller stena någon. One of them noe. is a rebellious child. Are you not glad we are not living in the Old Testament? Är du glad vi inte lever i det Gamla testamentet? Sometimes you need to let your children know that if you are living in the Old Testament, you are a fadi. <laughs> so better shout for die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, we just want to thank you for all mothers. Father, we thank you for all mothers. We thank you for all women. All kvinnor. All ladies. All jenter. All daughters. All daughters. Sisters. Sisters. God, you've created them with a unique ability and responsibility. Du har skapat dem en unik evne och to build foundation in the home in regards to the family and children. Och bygga en fundament i i hemmet som familjen. Lord, as a church day, we bless every woman in here. Som en menighet till oss vill sinna var kvinna här. Every woman in this church. Alla kvinnor i den menigheten. Everyone, every woman connected to this. Ministry. Alla kvinnor som är kopplat till den här tjänsten. On today, as we remember Mother's Day, we send forth your word of grace over every woman. Och idag då vi minns morsdag så sänder vi ut nåde till alla kvinnor. I speak peace to every woman. Fred till var kvinna. Your home will be in order. Ditt hem ska vara i orden. Things will fall in place for you. Things ska falla på plats för dig. In Jesus' name. I Jesu namn.